what you might want to do, just as a, um, we were talking about contact, what you might want to do with him, to play, draws up his tongue, is go to a little thicker bits, and not quite such thin bits. You can get both, uh, let me look at your adjustment too. I always adjust a double bridle. Double bridles internationally must be used after fourth level. Nationally, you don't have to use them. Just loosen the reins for a minute. Yeah, just loosen the reins for a minute and look at it. Now, they're a little close. I put mine a little farther apart. Right. And um, so they don't superimpose because they're on top of each other. Mm -hmm. I always put the snaffle, the burdoon, if you want to call it that, a little higher than I normally would. Four. And then I put the curb a little lower than I normally would so that the bits are a little more, they don't touch each other. So I'll put the snaffle up one and the curb down one. And see if that helps. You want to make sure that in the mouth they don't superimpose. Right. So I do have the snaffle. Well, see, let me check this side. Now, this Verdun is pretty, it's catching. Yeah, it's too low. Let me put it up one more. Now, double bridles fit is really, really, really important. And adjustment. Even one hole can make a huge difference. Hey. It's okay. Okay, back to work. The other thing you might want to try, I use uh, rubber curb chain covers, most of the horses. Okay, now loosen, loosen the curb a little bit right now. But keep a contact on the right. It's very important with the double bridle to keep the curb rein even.